Hi Pisces, welcome to your August Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Pisces, taking a look at love for August, whatever your situation may be, do keep in mind if something shows up here you have no interest in, may not be your reading, I really have to stress that. So please, please do keep that in mind. But welcome in Pisces. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. Only take what resonates for you, what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies anytime you feel the need to. Meaning, if I say this feels like them, and you're like, no, that's me, you definitely can switch it. Cross watchers as well could actually be readings or messages for you. So let's see. These are your images. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. And we have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So I think these two have come out already. So I'm just kind of feeling drawn to uh, pick you one more here. So I'm just going to take one. We have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we may must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change, which is beyond our control. So some of you, um, you may have trouble. You may be having trouble accepting something that recently happened or happened in the past connection. And maybe you're finding it hard to release and move on to new connections, new energies. And it's telling you, you know, the past is behind you now. You know, accept it, move on, go with the flow. You know, you don't have to rush into anything. But it's kind of like still kind of getting yourself out there. Accepting things for what they are. Finding that inner peace. All right. Let's see. Okay. For... Pisces. Everything you do need to know is down below in the description box. Your playlists are down there. You can still check out past readings. I consider them timeless. The month on there is just the time the messages come out. They literally could be for any time. Ooh. Uh, and if you are new here, I do readings a month to a week. Down below you can find a list of all the content I do, times, days I publish. Keep an eye on the community tab if I have to make changes or cut back in the next coming months as my full-time job maybe kicking into overtime not quite sure how it's going to work out yet so we'll see how it goes so we have the dragon's duel inner conflict mm, morality conscious choice 23 5 which is about change i think you're battling yourself here it's time just to you know morality you know it's just time to make that conscious choice to leave you know let's let something go. Let it drop. You know, drop this. Whatever this is, drop it. Let it go. It's time for change. The dream walker. Dreams. The collective good. Illusions. Eight. It's about taking action. You know, it is about abundance and growth. So, I'm not sure what's going on here, Pisces. <laughs> I'm feeling like there's something like you can't let go of, but yet you're still kind of dreaming of something else or someone else but yet there's part of you or part of your past still kind of hanging on that needs to be let go of hmm all right let's see pisces let's see i mean it could be you or your person so take it out resonates for you pisces i do have another channel for twin flames link is below if you'd like to check that out i do mostly collectors over there i don't have time for zodiacs on both channels in a full-time job but uh, Zodiacs over there really weren't getting a lot of views, but collectives are doing fairly well. So you can check it out. I do a collective check-in and I do other types of collectives, you know, a masculine, a feminine, spiritual guidance for separation, as well as uh, a 5D conversation, which is very interesting. All right. Okay. These are stuck together. So we have narrow pathway. I'll cut you one more because that narrow pathway is caught a few times. So we have desert passage. There's trust. There's a divine plan in narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully, uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. So I think you're treading very lightly, very carefully, thoughtfully. 
you know, feeling like uh, Desert Passage, like it's very dry, barren, it's not much there, but it's just trusting at the end there will be much, what, abundance here. So you may have a narrow, like a narrow thought or vision because of something from the past you need to let go of, definitely here. It's like there's something hanging on this bridge. So you could be, you could be afraid of falling. You know, so you could be afraid of falling in love. You could be afraid of falling in love again, whatever your situation may be. Oh boy, Pisces. So let's see what is going on for you, Pisces, for August. See something that you can barely see. There's something like hanging. Looks like it's hanging from that wobbly bridge like uh looks like something from indiana jones like that rope bridge that looks like it could collapse at any time <sighs> all right let's see for pisces what do we have here five of pentacles so part of you still is feeling kind of lonely Seven of Wands, Six of Wands. Wow, so what the heck? So we have the Six and the Seven of Wands. Subtract it, you get the Ace of Wands. Exciting new beginning. So Five of Pentacles, you know, you're feeling a little abandoned, lonely, left out in the cold, you know, not much going on in your life. Seven of Wands, but your defenses are kind of up here, blocking new energy from coming in. But we have the Six of Wands here. It could be an offer coming in for you, and it could be very successful here. It's like someone is on their way. You could have blocked somebody and now they're just moving in a new direction. But I kind of feel like also you're blocking new energy from coming in, even if it's energetically. Though in a way, this Five of Pentacles, you kind of want it, you know. It's a part of you is feeling, you know, a little lonely out there, alone. All right, Pisces. And again, it could be, if it's not you, it could be the person you're dealing with, hoping they come in with the offer. Maybe they blocked you sun oh my god so there's your ultimate happiness here two of wands choosing the future and letting go of the past because he's got the world in his hands with that wand heading into the future of abundance joy success happiness love peace harmony expansion everything positive with the sun like walking right into the sun two of pentacles so definitely juggling around the idea here you know, your energy could be giving off um, mixed signals. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Knight of Swords. So it's like some something's rushing into you with an offer or very successful energy here. Aquarius energy. And the Knight of Wands. You may have more than one person coming in here. So we have Aquarius or Air and we have Sag or Fire. Leo there with the Sun. So we have two, two. You may actually have choice of two. I mean, you could be blocking one and you just want your eyes to set on another. But I also feel like there's something from your past. I mean, you could be, one of these energies could be past and one could be future or present energy. King of Swords. So we have the Knight to the King, Gemini energy. This. Knight uh, King would not beat around the bush. Very clear, direct, honest, blunt to the point. Maybe with a sincere offer here for a fresh new start. Aquarius energy. Someone that wants to take a leap of faith towards you. Some sort of proposal or romantic gesture. Could be younger than you. Well, that is you, Pisces. Lovers, Gemini energy. Wow, somebody feels that's two cards, Gemini here. But then we have this energy of walking away. And maybe they haven't been saying anything here with the high priestess because they're places you again getting mixed uh signals maybe they're really stressed out about this here's a queen of swords which is a match to the king libra energy kind of looking at that queen like hmm i just don't know should i approach should i not approach she kind of feels like she may block me she's got that sword up so they're confused here wow someone's feeling the strong connection here leo energy all right let's see Let's see, Pisces, where this is going. Eight of 
Eight of Swords. Somebody is stuck, stuck, stuck in their head. King of Pentacles. Look at all these people. I mean, two knights and then a king of pentacles. Three of swords. So you could have been stuck in the past in a very unhappy marriage. That was very heartbreaking. Because a king of pentacles sometimes for me can be, you know, someone's married. Four of cups. Because we have that energy of leaving the past behind, I feel like, I don't know if it's true, your person is still stuck in their head about... A commitment or a marriage that was very heartbreaking so they're uncertain about accepting new love you know making approach in new love someone is definitely unsure about approaching approaching the other someone is unsure about accepting new love because of a very heartbreaking situation in the past here but there's that fool coming out again and lovers again all right, so let's see. So we have Virgo showing up here, or Earth sign. And King of Pentacles usually is someone who's very stable, grounded, secure, independent, um, trustworthy. They make their coin. I heard lavish, whatever that means. Well, I know what it means, but... Five of Swords. Ten of Wands. Oh my goodness. Eight of Cups. Holy moly. I feel like someone's here is causing self-sabotage. I mean, the five from the three, I mean, the five from the eight is the three of swords, which is right there. Three from the five is two, indecision. And the three from the eight gets back to the um, five, which is there. Oh my God. Round and round here. So somebody here is, again, a lot of conflict, self-sabotage, can't see the path clearly with this Ten of Wands. So I'm definitely feeling like somebody is walking away because somebody is not seeing the other's intentions here. And someone is self-sabotaging or there's a lot of conflict. Page of Cups. See, somebody wants to approach you Pisces, but they feel like it's more of a struggle. So it's been taking a hot minute here. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus tower and the devil wow so they may be feeling like they're not sure if they want to approach you because it may be explosive or it may be you know kind of toxic or um, not good energy if they do but it we do have wish fulfillment here three one somebody's waiting but i mean somebody does see this as a very strong connection here ace of swords and strength leo energy somebody's still struggling with being uh, backstabbed from the past and it's the energy here, just walk away. Leave it in the past, that's where it belongs. We have the moon there, which is you, Pisces. And, and this person may be walking away because they kind of sense, know, or feel, or they heard that you're still tr struggling to get over the past. Or vice versa. All right, let's see. Pisces. Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups. So we have Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Taurus, Scorpio again. So, I mean, this is a very high level connection here. So I feel like this fate destined connection to kind of court, date, get to know, see where this goes. Kind of like forward movement in love, following your heart, your intuition, moving forward. This definitely could be you, Pisces. It's like the universe is, look, this is fate, destiny. It's time to get in a higher vibration because if when you let go of the past... The wheel will stop moving forward and getting yourself in a higher vibration with this hierophant energy brings in something of a higher vibration hmm right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck there we are pisces i need a few more here because we can't just leave it up in the air like this so what else do we need to know we do have uncovering treasure there I mean, the wheel is about fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, moving in the right direction. Higher can be about, you know, commitment, marriage, higher vibrations on all levels, whatever it may be. King of Cups. Somebody has a lot of feelings that they're not coming forward. That's you, Pisces. Stressed about how they feel about you, Pisces, or how you feel about somebody, about taking a chance on moving forward in a new direction. 
the moon. Oh my God, Pisces, you're coming out again. Fear, illusion, uncertainty, fear of the path forward, but needing to trust intuition. King of Swords, King of Cups, <laughs> Seven of Swords, running out of fear, running, running, running. What are you afraid of, Pisces? Again, this King of Swords is very clear, blunt, direct to the point. Gemini energy will not beat around the bush. They will not be sneaky or deceptive. And this is what you're stressing about. The lovers, soulmate connection here. Gemini energy. So this is a soulmate connection. Look at this. Brand new beginning in love. Wow. Ace of Cups. Self-love. Spiritual. Awakening. New beginning in love. Five of Cups. Don't look at the past. Turn around and see the future. Two of Cups here. Follow your heart, your int intuition. Let it guide you. Cancer energy here, or that true Pisces. And this could be courting, dating, getting to know. Six of Cups could feel very innocent, childlike. Maybe there's children. Somebody has children. I don't think this is a past connection. But I kind of see this page turning the back on past. Looking forward to exciting new energy with this page of wands. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Let that past go for successful new beginnings here. Truth, clarity, seeing it for what it is. And a solid new offer here for, you know, a drink, a date. Very stable, grounded energy here. Capricorn energy. Yeah, you definitely have something manifesting coming in. Cupid's arrows. Don't overthink it. That's kind of what I feel here. Gemini Virgo. It's time to close out the past. Look for the future. New cycles starting here. Leo, Curious, Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah, it's all about let go of the struggle. Let go. Let go and embrace the new. New love. Connection here. All right, Pisces. So I don't know if this is you or your person, but there's a lot of treasure to be found here in this connection. All right. Well, let's see. Higher vibrational energy with that Hierophant coming in for you, Pisces. Something maybe you've always dreamed of with the dream walker there. This dream walking right into your life if you allow it or vice versa. All right. Pisces, advice and guidance for you, Pisces. Relationships, well, there you go. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you treat, how you react, respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So this could be um, a very, uh, a deep soul connection here. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. So you may take a moment and think about it. It's about trusting your intuition. And look at that. Stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life. In the physical world now is an important time to reconnect to the source so this again could be a past life connection very spiritual connection a lot of soul growth self-sabotage wow did i not just say that with the five of swords when you learn to get out of your own way there will be no stopping you most of the time it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals it's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans so wow it's about being vulnerable as well. You or them, however that resonates for you. Wow. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped it resonate in. You definitely have a connection here, a deep connection, either coming in that maybe just be walking right on into your life. And it's about embracing the new. The past is the past. Don't keep dueling with yourself about it. And uh, I keep getting, like, take a chance on this. I mean, the sun, the ace of cups, the lovers. <sighs> All right, Pisces. So I'm wishing you the best. Again, this didn't resonate. You can check your playlist down below, past readings, as well as the Twin Flame channel. And yeah, I feel like, you know, you're putting your own fire out. But there's something coming in here that may reignite your fire once again. All right, Pisces, wishing you the best. Again, you can check out the uh, Twin Flame channel if you like to as well. Link is below. Wishing you the best. And... I shall see you next time.